Good afternoon, Center School students. It's Mr. Napoli again, coming to you live from the couch. So, hope everyone's doing well. Hope you had a great second day of your interim learning plan and uh, learning from a distance from homes <clears throat> and outside of the school. I wanted to come again and visit you again today and, and have an opportunity to read a book because um, reading is so important. I can't stress that enough. And like your teachers do every day with you, reading some books, asking questions, um, I think I would be really fun for me to, to do that with you now. <clears throat> the hardest part about this was actually choosing the book. I have so many books to choose from because I love to read. And I was a fifth grade teacher myself, so I have all these chapter books, all different kinds of books. So it was really hard to decide. And actually, <clears throat> I was just talking to Mrs. Redding and Mrs. Stevens, and they're setting me up with an Epic account. So I might be coming to you live soon from an iPad reading a book. So set up your Epic accounts, boys and girls, with your families, some because really great books online. So what I did today is I chose this one book. Yes, you can. <clears throat> this is the one we're going to read together by Sam McBratney and illustrated by Charles Fugue. Yes, you can. So we have some characters here, right? Got a kangaroo, a mouse, and a duck. <clears throat> so we're going to keep it simple. Maybe I'll get into a chapter book in the next few days or so. I haven't decided yet, but... So I want to keep it simple, this nice little book. All right, here we go. So get in a nice, comfortable chair. Maybe it's almost bedtime for you, or maybe you want to watch this later with your families. <clears throat> Parents and guardians, by all means, if you want to watch this tonight on an iPhone, iPad, or your computer, um, on the couch, or in bed, and that maybe be your night story. Yes, we can. <clears throat> this is the book that I received um, as a gift from one of the PTAs when I was an assistant principal. Little Rue was chasing leaves one windy day. Rue's friends, Country Mouse and Quacker Duck, were waiting to play with him. There they are. Let's make a big pile of leaves, said Rue. A mountain of leaves, said Country Mouse. The biggest ever seen, quacked Duck. They began to collect up all the leaves they could find, but making a leaf mountain is hard work. So after a while, they stopped for a rest. While they were resting, Little Roo said to his friend Quacker Duck, I know something you can't do. You can't jump over a big, big log. Yes, I can, said Quacker Duck. Quacker Duck tried as hard as he could. But little ducks aren't made to jump over big, big logs. Country Mouse thought it was so funny when Quacker Duck fell over the fallen down tree. Oh no, poor duck. It's not too nice. <clears throat> Don't you laugh at me, said Quacker Duck to Country Mouse. I know something you can't do. <clears throat> you can't float on a puddle. Yes, I can, said Country Mouse. So Country Mouse tried to float on the puddle. But a little mouse isn't really made for floating. <clears throat> little Ruth thought it was so funny when Country Mouse crawled out of the water, soaking wet and dripping. I thought these guys were supposed to be friends. Don't you laugh at me, said Country Mouse. I know something you don't. You can't catch your own tail. Yes, I can, said Rue. Rue tried as hard as he could to catch his own tail, but his tail would not be caught. It was too far away. Country Mouse and Quacker Duck laughed and laughed as Rue ran around in circles. Poor Rue. <clears throat> Don't you dare laugh at me, cried Rue. Well, you laughed at me, said Mouse, and you laughed at me, said Duck. No one was happy. No one was happy because each had made fun of someone else and someone else had made fun of them. Instead of making the biggest mountain of leaves that everyone had ever seen, they looked as if they might as well all go home in a bad mood. Look at those expressions on their face. They are pretty upset. What do you think they could do? What can they do to turn this around and fix it? If you want to stop the video, you can. Talk to your parents or your siblings. <clears throat> Little Rue, Rue's mother came over to, to see what the fuss was all about. I'm not surprised the three of you look so grumpy, she said. Nobody likes to be laughed at. 
It was true. No one likes to be laughed at. Why don't you show each, show each other what you can do, said Rue's mom. What a wise mother. That's great advice. <clears throat> Rue cried, I can jump over a big, big log. He hopped up and over the fallen down tree. That's really good jumping, the other said. That's a nice compliment, wouldn't you say, boys and girls? <clears throat> kind of like our kindness cards. I can float on a puddle, said Quacker Duck, taking to the water with ease. That really that was really excellent floating. The others agreed. And when Country Mouse caught his own tail, Little Roo and Quacker Duck thought that his tail catching was the best they had ever seen. There now, said Roo's mother, can we all be friends again? Little Roo, Country Mouse, and Quacker Duck looked at each other. They were all thinking the same thing. What do you think? Yes, we can. And that's the end of the story, boys and girls. <clears throat> so, the moral of the story, yes, you can. You can continue to work hard <clears throat> with reading, writing, and doing math while at home, even though you're not at school. Get onto your Chromebook or iPad or whatever device you're using at home. Go on to iReady, practice hard. Go into Splash Math. Read, do some reading on Epic or some of your own books. If you have books at home in the library. <clears throat> Get onto the extra math. Keep practicing your math facts. Keep reading, do some journal writing. Send them to me. Any questions you have or any research or <clears throat> books you're looking into, send them my way. I got some great pictures today from Mackenzie Johnson, a picture of her in a letter. It was awesome. Michael Leonardo <clears throat> sent me a picture or a, or a writing piece he did for Mr. Tormy with him and his dad in a, a big machine taking out tree stumps. So, yes, you can continue to work hard. Yes, you can still play. <clears throat> Boys and girls, you can still have recess. Come up with a nice schedule at home. Maybe you can work out with your family, your parents. Like a schedule, having breakfast, doing a morning activity, doing some reading, doing some math or writing, having lunch, <clears throat> then me having a recess break. Mr. Phillips just sent out some really neat resources today. Tonight I sent them out. Some physical activities, maybe you can jump rope. Um, do some jumping jacks. Kick the ball around with your brother. <clears throat> you can still do these things. You can chat with your friends, okay? There's FaceTime, use the technology, we have FaceTime. You can actually pick up a phone. Maybe pick up the phone and have a conversation. But there's FaceTime, there's Skype, <clears throat> so you can do you can do some um, friends. You can <clears throat> hang out with your friends from a distance using technology. Okay, and yes, you can be grateful for what you have because we have a lot, and you can be kind to others. Continue to do that, just like these three friends finally did in this book, right? The duck, the mouse, and the kangaroo. And yes, you can be happy and safe every single day, all right? You can be happy and safe, and we want you to be that way, all right? So with that said, I hope you enjoyed my book. Have a great night. Have a wonderful evening. Have some nice dinner. Maybe read another book with your, with your brothers or sisters or your parents. <clears throat> and we'll see you in the morning for Beehive News Live. We're hoping to get some of the fourth graders back in there. I'm working with Mr. Jensen to try to figure out a way to um, get us to broadcast from different places. So stay tuned, but we'll have uh, more news in the morning. And I uh, hope you had a great second day. Tomorrow's Thursday, then Friday, then the weekend. So keep working hard because, yes, you can. Have a good night. <clears throat>